Hello everybody, it's Adrian here, and welcome to Terraria. Today, I am Gary. Gary the Goblin. A world-renowned wizard sorcerer man whose mission it is to take out Cthulhu. It's I. Just the Cthulhu's eye. Nothing else, just his eye. And that is what we are going to do today. We are going to go find some treasure, because goblins like treasure, and so does Gary, because he's a goblin. So we're going to go into this cave that, very convenient, it's right here. Oh, Gary has found life. A life crystal, in fact, as he goes deeper into this fun-looking cave. Ah, oh, Gary is afraid. Gary is afraid. Oh, Gary died. <laughs> And that is the end of Gary for Goblin's adventure. No. <laughs> but on the plus side, we've got a health crystal and some other stuff. Ah, Hermes boots. That is quite a good adventure. That's a quite a good thing, because now Gary the Goblin is Gary the Fast Goblin. You know, I also want to get, like, a tower, because I feel like every wizard... Every sorcerer should have a tower. Ideally, we want to find a spell. Um, like a really overpowered spell. For Gary. Gary likes overpowered spells. Gary is a lot of fond of them. Gary is being attacked by very spooky things. Gary does not like spooky things. Gary is holding them off with his cactus sword. Ooh. Gary has found something. A sandstorm in a bottle. No, but really, this sandstorm in a bottle is really good. It's one of the early game maneuvering items, really. But it is very useful for maneuvering about. So, now we adventure the other way. So yeah, we've been adventuring now for a fair bit. And we found some good loot. And the world has become a lot easier to explore with all these maneuvering items I managed to find. All Gary needs now is a good set of rocket boots, but those are expensive and Gary doesn't have money. For a wizard does not carry cash. Yes. I found it. Gary the Goblin is proud. Gary the Goblin is very happy. He has his spells. Gary the Goblin has his intense water bolt. Oh. Gary the Goblin is ready. It's not ready at all, but very good because this water bolt will be so useful. Now that Gary the Wizard Goblin has his water bolt, which really good, it is now time for Gary the Wizard Goblin to build his wizarding tower. Well, what a pretty big tower, I think. Rounded top tower as well. We don't want an abrupt spot, you know. You know that's that's standard for wizards. You know, have one of those angled blue roofs. No, we're we're different. Gary is different. Gary is not that different, but different enough. Okay, this needs to be big. I'll maybe put some floors in it as well. But we want to. We want to. We want it roughly. There. Yes, that's a nice big wizarding tower. Gary the Goblin's wish is going to come true. He will become the Mega Wizard. He will be known across the land for having defeated the Eye of Cthulhu. He'll be known for uh, having a very cool tower. You know, he'll be he'll be known. Gary the Goblin's Wizarding Tower is complete. Now, we don't have much actual sort of stuff in it yet, but, you know, a goblin plans for the future. And that is, we, that is what we have done. But we are not done. No, 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 no. Gary the Goblin is never done. He still has some wizarding things to do. We will make some form of armor. Let's go with some... Iron, three defense, there we go, 
for defense. That that'll do for this goblin. We are building a big arena. Now arenas make fighting substantially easier, I would say, because you can just dodge the damage instead of taking it. You can just walk around a big area. So yeah, this is the last stage before uh, before the big fight. And we will have officially completed Gary's journey from a nobody to a hero, which I think is an important journey and has definitely been an eventful journey filled with trials and tribulations. So what is Gary going to do after he has defeated the Eye of Cthulhu? I don't know, honestly. Probably retire, something like that. You know, take a break from the death, the fighting. He's proved himself worthy. Maybe he'll refine his magical abilities. But he can rest easy knowing that the Eye of Cthulhu no longer haunts the lands. Well, here we are back at our tower and it is time. It is night and it is time to face our enemy, Cthulhu. Well, again, just the Eye, because Gary does not like the Eye of Cthulhu. It, it sort of creeps him out a bit. Here you are. Gary! No! We should have grabbed some arrows or some mana potions. I'm gonna go grab those mana potions quickly. Shurikens. Gary, it may be a wizard, but he shall still use shurikens. Gary, Gary the Goblin, come on. <laughs> we are so, oh, I should have done more preparing. Bullet got him. We did it. Frickin' Gary the Goblin wins. Oh, Gary the Goblin. That was a fight for the ages. Gary the Goblin's tale is now complete, at least for now. What will he do next? That is up for him to decide. But for now, he rests in his wizarding tower. For a grand wizard rests after a battle. At least that's what Gary thinks a wizard does. He's not actually a wizard. Ah, but that isn't true, is it? He has the spells. He has the mana. He has truly become a wizard in more than just name. But as Gary ponders what to do next, he realizes something. His house. His house is a penis.